Welcome to N4 Electro Techniques. And in this video, we'll be looking at resistivity and resistance. Now, resistivity is defined as the resisting power of a specified material. To calculate resistance, it is the resistivity measured in ohmmeters multiplied by the length of the conductor in meters divided by the cross-sectional area of the conductor in meters square. In this example, a copper cable is 1,5 meters long and has a cross-sectional area of 4 millimeters square. The resistivity of the copper cable is 1,68 times 10 to the power of minus 8 at a temperature of 20 degrees. To calculate the resistance, it is the resistivity multiplied by the length of the conductor divided by the cross-sectional area in meters square. Therefore, the resistivity of 1,68 times 10 to the power of minus 8 multiplied by the length of 1,5 meters divided by, now in order to convert millimeters square into meters square, we multiply by 10 to the power of minus 6. Therefore, the resistance is 0, 0,0063 ohms. In part B, how would the resistance change if the cable length was halved? Well, to the same degree, the resistance would also be halved and that would be 0, 0,0032 ohms. In this example, we have a copper conductor and an aluminum conductor connected in parallel together. And this is a typical exam type question for N4 electrotechniques. A copper conductor that is 725 meters long is connected in parallel to an aluminum conductor of the same length. When a current of 200 amps is passed through the combination, the current through the aluminum conductor is 75 amps and the diameter of the copper conductor is six millimeters. And we need to calculate the following. Now, if you look at the circuit diagram, you will see that the current in the copper branch is 125 amps and the current in the aluminum branch is 75 amps. Therefore, the total current will be 200 amps. So the length of the copper conductor is 725 meters, and it is the same length as the aluminum conductor. The resistivity of copper is 0.017 microohm meters, and the diameter of the copper conductor is six millimeters. Now to calculate the resistance of the copper conductor, we first have to determine the area. We only have the diameter. So to calculate the area, it is pi d square over four so therefore remember we need to convert millimeters into meters square and to do that we multiply by 10 to the power of minus six so that the answer will be a meter square so therefore it's pi multiplied by six millimeters times 10 to the power of minus six don't forget to square the diameter divided by four therefore the area of the copper conductor will be 2,287 times 10 to the minus five meters square. Now we can go ahead and calculate the resistance of the copper conductor. The resistivity of 0 0.017 microometers to convert to ohmmeters, we multiply by 10 to the power of minus 6. The length of the conductor is 725 meters and the area 2,287 times 10 to the minus 5. Therefore, the resistance is 0 0.436 ohms. Now, to determine the voltage drop across this combination, because it's a parallel combination, voltage remains the same. Therefore, the voltage across the conductor for copper and aluminum should be the same. Now, we have all the values for copper. So we're going to use copper as our point of reference. So the current through copper is 125 amps, and the resistance of copper is 0,436 Therefore, the volt drop across the parallel branch is 54,5 volts. Now, to calculate the resistance of the aluminum conductor, we can use Ohm's law to assist us. The resistance of aluminum will be the volt drop divided by the current through that branch. The volt drop of 54,5 volts divided by 75 amps, and we get 0,727 ohms. Thank you for watching this video for N4 Electro Techniques.